Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Mm. Uh, this gonna, if it's not that long, okay, this gonna be the last video about uh, this uh, Jakarta listener demo. Uh, oh, Jakarta listener, okay, so what a listener. I'm gonna provide you a demo, what's gonna be look like uh, in a listener, okay? But uh, a listener has many APIs. It has listeners about uh, um, attributes, like when you create attribute or remove an attribute, uh, which in a request scope session and uh, application, which is a server contact scope, okay? It also have uh, things, uh, listeners related to each of the scope. Suppose we create a session, okay? And we create a server request and we have a server context ready. All the things are created actually by container, right? So for all the events, we have different listeners, not only one, but uh, I only provide one demo because if you understand, uh, this demo, you can do other uh, listeners by yourself. Uh, same idea, okay? Just use in different scenarios. So this demo I'm trying to do is um, um, we our web application, we have to connect to a database and where to, where to store our uh, connection. I want to do is put it in our global. And uh, but I put it in global when, when do we put? as uh, the first video we uh, mentioned inside about the Jakarta listener, yes, if our website only has one entry point, then it's easy, just uh, through there, right? But if we have multiple, usually it's the case. So the best place is we put in, when the server context is ready, then we can initialize our database connection and we can put it there, right? So for this requirement, I choose to use several context listener, okay? And uh, we have to do, we have to have some other things to be prepared. First, we have to have a new uh, dependency because I'm gonna connect to uh, MySQL. So I have to have a dependency on my single connector, Java, okay? And this is the version I picked uh, based on my current uh, my SQL version. Okay, I already forgot my MySQL version. Uh, probably it's a nine or eight. And other information we have to prepare, which is a driver. And because I'm using my SQL, so I using the JDBC driver, my SQL JDBC driver. Second one, you have to provide, you have to have a URL which you can connect to your database. And uh, the part you have to change is this part and this part. The first part is the IP address and the port number, which is where your MySQL server is hosted. Uh, here you can, this IP address is not my current laptop, my IP address, because I don't want to install my SQL in my current laptop. Uh, and my old laptop has the my SQL. So what I do is uh, I using that laptop's IP address and it's uh, uh, the port number running the MySQL service is running a 3306. This is the default one. By default, is this one, okay? And uh, another one is your the database you are trying to connect. This is the database I'm trying to connect. It's also some database uh, already existing in my uh, MySQL, okay? So I didn't create a new one because uh, I just want to demo the server context listener. The it's not uh, related to actual functionality related to uh, tables, right? So I just using this one. In this database, it's gonna have a table called the book. Okay, so I'm gonna make a query to this book, okay? Uh, and display everything on the page, okay? And uh, again, I create a new user name, the new user to access this database. Uh, 
And uh, by default, we cannot use the default kind of like a default account to access through another uh, account, through another laptop. The default one is root root right one, right? But I cannot access. So I say it's better to create a new user. So I create another one called T uh, Bella. Okay, it's uh, not related to me. Okay. Bella and uh, this uh, username uh, have all the uh, I granted all the privileges which means uh, from my current laptop I can access the other laptop okay otherwise by default you can not connect to um, their data database okay uh, that's all the things we have to be prepared before you can start so first thing is I will add this dependency into my where into my project uh, by the way the project I already have the structure ready so we don't have to spend waste our time looking how I create a project okay the pom file I think I copy and paste copied from uh, GSTL demo okay the uh, just a change of the artifact and other things Okay, and here the Solid API provided, the GSTL provided, and uh, Maven, I just have one plugin, others that's not necessary to have. And uh, I have a dependency, let me see, I have copy, oh, I cannot copy, okay. Dependency, which is uh, my SQL connected Java, my SQL, and this is the version, okay in order to connect to uh, my SQL database. And the second one is uh, where well, those informations I can I should put which are those informations, okay? Normally, uh, if some people use the, some like frameworks, it's gonna be configured in the frame, in kind of like XML file, right? So here we will configure inside the web.context, web.xml, this file. And uh, uh, we, we, because for those serverless con context, they are trying to grab the init parameters and we cannot using servlets, right? Because servlet, the configuration is for particular servlet, but for those unim, password, and driver class, and URL, they are global. So the only way to config global information is using context, uh, sorry, is using XML. Okay, because annotation cannot configure global information. So here we have to using uh, XML to do configuration for context prime. Uh, the IntelliJ don't show it, you know. It should have uh, auto complete the, 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 you know, the f feature. But this one doesn't show. I feel IntelliJ uh, hasn't updated to look at the, you know, the XML is uh, version five, you know. But for four, I think it works. Parameter name, uh, username. Parameter uh, PARM prime value. Prime value is what? Uh, Bella, okay. I regret, I should have using Tina. Some people watched all most of my videos. Probably they get confused. Why are you using Bella? Okay, Bella is something. Yes, uh, sometimes I don't want to expose. Sometimes I don't want to expose, you know, my information, like uh, the email or things. I created a uh, you know, uh, I created a uh, email for those cases. And uh, when we create an email, we have to give what? We have to give a username, right? That's what I choose called Bella. <laughs> Which is, uh, um, I don't want to expose uh, my information. Then I use that my Bella email. <laughs> Nothing special, okay. But I don't know why last time when uh, the day before yesterday or last weekend when I test to create the user for access the database, I just use the Bella. I don't know why. Okay, so I have my information context prime ready for the UNM password driver and the DBUIL, and I have my dependence ready, right? So next one is I want to create a listener to read those information. 
And uh, what I will do is uh, have uh, application context listener. Okay. Okay. This is an L class. We have to implement servlet context listener. Okay. And in the servlet context listener, it only has uh, two uh, methods we can override. One is initial uh, context initialize, which means when the servlet context this object is ready. The other one is when we destroy the servlet context. Okay, so we can do the things based on these two methods. We will override all of them. And default, uh, this one, this feature is added in Java eight, right? Which in uh, interface you can have a default implementation. One is context initialized, and the other one is context destroyed, right? We will override these two. And the sec next, first, we will add a web listener. This is the annotation version, okay? Uh, annotation version of uh, specify a listener. You have to add a web listener. And it only has one attribute you can specify, which is a value. The value doesn't do anything. Just to give a description about this listener. So you, if you want, you can write, okay, just the description. In the content listener, we have to grab the information from web.xml file, right? So what we'll do is, uh, I will do is I will have uh, uh, I have to get a servlet context first. How to get a servlet context? This object yes from event sec dot get a servlet context. Then you got it, and then we can get the username equals context dot get init param right. You still remember which is uh, username I think. Okay. So save and I will copy paste to have a four, right? And what others? The others are um, horizontally. The others are what? This one, right? The others are password. I have password here, password here. And the driver, driver here, driver here, driver here. And DBURL, DBURL, DBURL. DBUI, okay, so I have all the things here. Uh, now what I will do is since we have done uh, this part, it's better we have a test if we can get the information right and if our project is good to go. So username and uh, password. Okay, and we just type, type two. The others, if these two can work, the others should work automatically. And I have index.gsp. When application starts, it should load this one. So I will know if it works or not. Okay. So first step, I will deploy and to see if my current application works or not. Okay. And if it works, I will say hello on the root for our which is welcome file for our application and next i will see is my username password will are displayed on the console right so let's start i don't know how long i have uh, talked in this video okay okay so here first uh, uh, first, we see hello, which means our project runs no problem. Second, take a look at here. I have a system out. On our output, we have Bella, Bella, which means now our context listener actually is running, right? Our listener is running and it can get the information from what? From the context prompt, which is from our web.xml, can get all the information. So this is the first step. Okay, I want to separate. Otherwise, the videos I feel it's gonna be very long. Okay, I will separate it. And uh, next step is we will connect to our database. Okay, and then we will have a uh, uh, server to test if it works. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. See you in next video about uh, more. Okay, our database connection. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.